Okay, so it, it has been a week for me. Um, let's just quickly go over the last few days before we hop into any workout talk or anything like that. But, uh, all right, so today is, today is Monday, okay? So on Friday, I start my block, my third, sorry, I start my third week with my comp squat and my comp bench. Um, it was RP seven doubles. And they were both, well, my bench was not supposed to be PR, but my squat was aiming to be a PR and my bench was supposed to move well. And then, you know, you have back downs and all that. So we'll just start with this. On Friday, I go to the gym, whatever, everything's good. Hit my squat, crazy PR, easy, moved easy. RP six, maybe not even seven. It was easy. Um, hit my PR, good, beautiful. Move on, do my back downs hard but normal you know that's how back downs are they're good work some rep work you know heavy weight good everything moves well then we move to bench and i don't know why but my bench just moved terrible like terrible terrible so i hit my top set of two which is supposed to be an rp of seven probably closer to like a seven and a half maybe eight and then i do my back downs and my first set of back downs I literally get to my six, four by six of my back downs. I get to my sixth rep and I, I instantly just, I, I hit RP 10, maybe. Like my sixth rep was a struggle. I was not getting any more. And then I dropped the weight down a little bit because I was like, okay, obviously this is too high if I'm struggling this much on my first back down. And then did three more back downs. That's in every single set was still RP 10. So I was really, really upset on my bench on Friday. Uh, really pissed me off. I was really demotivated to train for the first time in a long time. I was like, I really don't want to train. I was like, I want to leave. Like, I'm done. Like, no way. Just My bench is terrible after like, getting a squat PR. Um, whatever. We'll, we'll move on from that because whatever, it's in the past. Saturday comes, right? Saturday morning. I have deadlifts and I have a three-count pause bench, a single at six. Um, so deadlifts go, everything goes well on deadlifts. My form could be a little better. Obviously, uh, there's a little bit of changes I need to make on deadlift, which I will be implementing hopefully next time I deadlift, uh, just to make sure like my bar path is a little, a little in front of me. And, um, my, my shoulders are kind of in front of the bar, which they always have been, but as I get closer to getting better at deadlifting and all that, I need to focus more on like lining my shoulders up with the bar. So honestly, it's actually for me going to be probably hinging my hips a little higher and just like sinking my, uh, sinking my, like my, I don't know how to explain it. Like, like my back is going to be flatter almost because I'm just so tall. Like my legs have to be really not like my legs have to be bent, but like not squatting. So I kind of need to have my knees be a little more straight up and then have my like ass be higher and just hinge like this almost like a, like a door instead of like the normal like kind of straight up and then you just like stand so it's definitely gonna look a little different um and i gotta get used to it but i'm just gonna line my shoulders so, like when i go down I gotta go straight down instead of like leaning forward so i always do like this as i go down like even when i'm doing like if i go like this to put my arms down i lean forward i need to go straight down instead of leaning so it's just gonna have to be like more of a hinge because i don't hinge that much um so it is obviously a hinge movement it's a deadlift so I'm going to start hinging a little bit more with that. So that should help. But then I did my three count bench single and I was like, okay, this is probably going to move terrible today because it's RP six and my last one was awful. I did the exact same weight I did for my comp double at seven and it moved better at six as a three count pause. I know it was a single, but that would mean I can hit it for five or four. So, I don't really know. All I know is that after I did that, um, my coach was there and he was like, okay, maybe put your feet a little back more so you can have a little bit more support. So I did that and I started like lining up my calves with the bench and then like kind of just like turning my feet to the outside so my heels can touch the ground because that was always my problem when I would go closer. And I felt really good. My arts looked really, really good. And my like I had a lot of power and it was stable. So. Hopefully my bench can be good again. That felt really good. I mean, I have tempo bench. I have close grip today, so it's a little different. So it probably won't look insane, but my arch and everything should be the same. It's just like, 
I don't know how heavy I'm gonna go because I think it's a, I think it's like, I think I have four sets as eight or something on close here. Maybe it's like four by six. I don't really know. I gotta look, but. Um, last week I did close grip. It's now my comp bench. So my close grip is going to feel really weird because my finger, instead of like right now I'm benching here, which I would kept messing up in the last video, I'm going to be benching because obviously this is one finger, so you can't go over anymore, right? So the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to line my thumb up with the ring and I'm just going to go like this because that will move my hand uh, more this way. So like, because right now my thumb is really far, like the ring, like my, my, okay. My, my uh, ring finger is on the knurling, right? The ring knurling. So I'm gonna keep, instead of that, I'm gonna put my thumb where like the bullet, the bullet, uh, what's it called, like the indents of the bar start. So it's way more to the left. So it should on my hand, just like, like a little finger length next to my pinky, which is the goal. So we'll see, but it's probably gonna be a lot closer. It should actually look like a close grip bench today, which is what it's supposed to be. So whatever. All right, anyway, aside from the training, what actually was making me die the last two days, um, I went to sleep Saturday night. It was like 75 degrees in our apartment. That's pretty hot. We usually keep it at like 70. I tried to move the thermostat. It kind of went up when I moved it down. I was like, okay, this isn't good. So we like called our maintenance guy or whatever. And he was like, oh, I'll fix it in the morning. I can't fix it tonight. We wake up, it's at 90 degrees. We are, we live in Florida, right? It's hot as hell, okay? 90 degrees inside your apartment means that my air conditioning was pumping out heat all night. So we all woke up and like drenched in sweat, like disgusting, we woke up at like 8 a.m. I got like five hours of sleep on Sunday, on Saturday, which is really bad. I got at least seven hours, seven to nine hours every night. I got five hours of sleep on Saturday. Destroyed my schedule. Woke up, ended up going to my boy's house to watch him do his mock meet because I I couldn't stay in my apartment. It was awful. I had homework and stuff to do I couldn't do for a while. Get back to my apartment. The maintenance guy calls me and he's like, all right, everybody else got a portable AC unit. But your room, yeah, we can't put it in your room because all your computer stuff's in the way of your window and I'm not moving it. So pretty much I was, I'm was i just screwed. Like it was just 90 degrees in my room and everybody else's room is cool. My room is 90 degrees. So that was, that's been a fun, fun, fun time. Um, me and my roommates like moved my desk so that I can somehow fit the air conditioning unit into my window, which we somehow did, but I can't use my setup right now at all. So like, it's kind of a mess, but whatever, better. I also have like three of the biggest tests of my life this week. So that's good. Uh, so it's, it's been a bit of a stressful week. I'm not gonna lie to you. So I wonder if my weights are going to be affected. I hope not. Uh, I don't, I'm not usually like the stressed out. I don't really get stressed out like that. So I usually keep my stress under pretty good control. Um, but we'll see how that goes. I have SSB high bar today as well as close grip. And then today is the walking lunges day, which is what I tried to record last time when I forgot to bring my mic. So we all, or that's the one I recorded and the intro clip didn't record. And two days ago, I was going to record my squat and bend session that I was talking about. And I brought my mic and I forgot the clip in my apartment. So I couldn't wear it. So you, I would have had no audio. Uh, so that wouldn't have worked too well either. So that was annoying. But finally back to filming. Got a new day, walking lunges. It's a bunch of abusive things today. Actually, I by far my most hated day. But it is good work today. So let's, uh, let's drink the pre. And uh, let's go kill some SSB high bar. All right, my knee, the back of my left leg feels a little weird right here where I'm pulling. Um, so see how this goes. This should be my last warm up. The single should move very easy. This one went up easy today. Come on. Let's do this one. I go up this easy. Come on. Oh, there we go. I hope you got them on right. Come on. All right. Let's make a single fly.
We'll see. I gotta watch how it moved. I'm praying. We'll see. It's six. Five at RP6. Five. Come on. I do six. I might do six. All right, so I'm a dumbass, and uh, I did six. So, all right. Two more. Same weight. Same reps. Yeah. Alright, I hope this is still working because my microphone just like shit itself. Uh but hopefully hopefully we're good. And one more set.
Yeah, so I don't know, but the cover to my microphone fell off. So my sumo is shit. Yeah. All right, last warm up. I'm gonna do a single. See what moves. Hopefully good. I haven't been, like actually gloved here for a long time. So. So you line up really close. He bailed in the hole. No, bad, bad. Bad. Alright, come on. Top set. RP6. Come on. Five for six. This time, actually, five for six. Beautiful, there we go. Come on. Alright. The three by eight. Seventy seven kilos here. It's gonna be a grind. Pops I felt good though. So I just gotta slow down going up my chest a little bit. And uh hopefully these move well. Let's get it. Two more.
first person shooter mode. All right, last set. Let's get it. Holy shit. Alright, now we have death. I literally hate this. This is by far the worst thing I'm doing. 3 by 10 walking lunges, 10 on each leg, RP8. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I failed last time, but let's try to not push these to failure, because uh, I value my life a little bit. I'm going to go five, five, 5 each way. Alright, come on. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. I gotta go like I go four steps each way, so two more. Alright, we got two more sets of ten. Uh, these are actually like abusive. But they are very good for your legs, I'm not gonna lie. Like quad burn compared to most other exercises, it's just this and leg extensions, which I have both today, so quad pump should be amazing. Let's get it. Come on. Oh, Peter, I hate you. All right, last set. Let's get it. Come on, let's finish it up. Strong. It's tiny to like, easy. Come on.
Oh my god. My heart rate is. Let me see that. 180. Holy. Alright. We got hopefully 135 for 12. RP 8. Three sets. Come on. Alright, that looks a little easy, so I'm gonna try to go slower on the eccentrics. That's it. Not gonna be easy. Let's fucking get it. Come on. I thought it was 12 or 11, but... Alright. Two sets. As many efforts as possible. Hoping for, like, at least 12. Pretty heavy, though. Let's go. So I'm way too far forward. Excuse me. Does it move, bro? Yeah. Alright. Now we can go. Nope, I'm gonna forward. That last set was awful. My calf started cramping. So, let's see what we can get. Oh my. Fuck. Two more sets. 
잠깐만요. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 